how come the number 24 Kansas State women's basketball lose to unranked South Dakota State? I guess South Dakota State's a good team, but you're not supposed to lose to them at home, Kansas State. The final score was 82 to 78. Granted. At halftime, South Dakota was State was up 41 to 37. Second half, Kansas State scored 41 points. South Dakota State scored 41 points. So it really didn't matter. If you give up that many points in a game, that doesn't help. I mean, in the half, it, and when you allow that and you score that, doesn't help either way. Now Kansas State shot the ball 36.1%. 26 for 72 to be exact on field goals. 8 for 37 on threes. 21.6%. That's not a good number. 18 for 19 on free throws. I give you that. 30 rebounds. 10 of those offensive. 14 assists. 13 steals. 5 blocks. 8 turnovers. 26 fouls. Only 15 points off the bench. So 63 points by the starters. Now, South Dakota State... They had 18, 22, 28 points off the bench. Granted, I know the Kansas State starters scored more. But South Dakota State shot 51% from the field, 26 for 51 to be exact, 5 for 14 on threes. Yes, they didn't make as many, but they also had a higher percentage and got better looks. 25 for 33 on free throws. Not as good as Kansas State, of course. 45 rebounds. Nine of those offensive. 17 assists, which is better than Kansas State. Four steals, which is less than Kansas State. Six blocks, which is more than Kansas State. 20 turnovers. That's way more than Kansas State, but not in a good way. 22 fouls. So, yeah, that's... So, as you can tell, it does make sense why Kansas State did lose this game right here. South Dakota State has UT Martin next. They're 3-5. and five. They should win that game in theory. But number one, South Carolina, is ho uh, they're going to host number one, South Carolina. Ooh, that's just a tough game right there. But you never know. They got Oral Roberts, that's 2-7. and seven. And Kansas City, that's 3-6. and six. And that's just going out. The four games, the next within the next four games. So really, in theory, they should win three of those games. It's the South Carolina game that I, I don't know about, but you never know. Kansas State, on the other hand, they got Northern Colorado. That's six and two. That's not necessarily an easy game, and they're even hosting it. Morgan, Morgan, that state that's currently. Seven and two, and that's not a gimme game. Probably, I know those records could be deceiving based on competition. They got have to go on the road to Texas, which Texas was a preseason number three team, but then now they're four and four. So, but it's on the road. That's tough. I mean, it is, but that that is definitely a winnable game. Don't get me twisted on that. So it's going to be tough. Oklahoma State is 8-2. and two. That's within the next four games. And they're hosting. But the problem is, Oklahoma State's record could be deceiving if you look at their schedule. Anyways, I just want to break that down like I do on the dance floor. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's going to point to subscribers and more by the end of this year or sometime in the future.